Who snagged that new vinyl on site? You? Were you someone? If so, I need to know right now. Comment down below your thoughts. To be honest with you, those I've chatted with that have tried them actually really love the new Vital. And I know that the 2.0 has been hit or miss for a lot of you. I'm thinking that this time around, we have something special going on with the Vital. I think it's this bra that's doing it for a lot of you. So it's true, Gymshark launched a bunch of new Vital 2.0 colors. Lots of fall colors, still got a little pop of summer in there somewhere. You see that chili red? This right here, this baby, this haul is the 2.0. In case you're wondering, they still did not go back to that OG material. So today I'm gonna share with you guys four unique colors that I have. We are looking at the Baked Maroon. I'm wearing it right now. This is my favorite. Oh, look at, just look at it. I actually keep calling this Baked Cherry Pie because I love cherry pie and this is exactly what it looks like. Chili red, oops, I forgot to fold that. This reminds me of the Flex. Do you remember the Flex that launched a couple years ago? It was this exact color. So that's all I'm seeing when I see this chili red. Not my favorite out of the bunch because I'm all about the real new new. How about the fawn brown? I think the nudes other than the baked maroon are my absolute favorite. This particular shade of brown because you can see that contour and there's a reason it's called fawn. You look like Bambi girl. You see that? The dotted contour looks like the Bambi freckles. The Bambi spots, not freckles. Only humans get freckles, right? And last but not least, we actually have the cherry brown. When I first looked at this, I thought I got the wrong color. I said, this is not cherry brown. I don't see any cherry in it. <laughs> It just looks like a dark brown. There are a couple of the nudes that I don't have, like the espresso and the vanilla brown. I know a lot of you wanted me to try on the vanilla brown and I'm sorry, I actually don't have that one. Vanilla brown's lighter than this one, which is the lightest one I have in this bunch. So if I get my hands on it, of course, I'll let you guys know my thoughts. But right now we're just sticking with these four colors. I know what we're all here for, this new Vital Sports Bra. I'm not gonna lie, I've been wearing the Vital to the gym all week long. I tested out the leggings, the shorts, and of course this new sports bra. I have a lot to say. So if you're somebody who's brand new to the Vital collection as a whole, check out my Gymshark playlist where I have over 100 unique videos reviewing everything that they pretty much ever came out with. I'm actually super excited to see that Gymshark slowly incorporating some fall colors for us, because I don't know about you, but I'm already ready for it, baby. And I'm sure you guys have noticed already because I got a ton of you DMing me about it, but they released some new Apex and some Rest Day Sweats. You know me, I love my Rest Day Sweats. I had no idea they were launching these at all, so if I can get my hands on those, I will absolutely make a video on that as well. And if you enjoyed this video and find it helpful, please do consider subscribing, give this video a like, and I also have my own personal Gymshark link, so thank you if you do use it to make your purchases. Always let me know if you do so I can personally thank you. So before we go ahead and try on the specific colors and do the whole try on. We have got to go over what they did differently this time around when it comes to the Vital Sports Bra. I feel like the Vital Sports Bra has not been touched in forever. It has looked so consistently the same throughout many, many years. I think they changed it once when they made it a little more supportive, but now we got a freaking plunge. <laughs> Vital just turns sexy as hell. I actually like this bra 10 times better than the other one. I'll tell you why. And yeah, you guessed it, it's the plunge. But there's other reasons, okay? You actually have an adjustable back now. You remember the last one? There was no adjustments, no plastic pieces. It was light as a feather, simple racer back, as simple as can be. And it wasn't exactly like the sexiest bra. Now I know it's not all about being sexy. But I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm at the gym working out, I wanna feel sexy. And for no one else other than myself, there's nothing wrong with that. So not only do we have adjustable straps so you can make the sports bra tighter or looser, which is a plus, but we also have the ability to take the strap off from the bottom and crisscross it. So I'm really glad to see that they added the swan hooks here to give it a little more versatility. It looks fairly plain on the front other than the dotted contour, but internally, I'm gonna turn it inside out, you can see that there's a little bit of a scrunch in the middle of the booby area. So right in between the bra pads, it keeps the bra pads separated, which is good, because I don't know about you, but you ever have like both bra pads end up on one side? I've done that before, but I don't realize it till I actually get to the gym. And I'm like, why do I look so lopsided? It happens. But anyway, so this is actually really good. You do have the removable bra pads. They still kept that. So a lot of it's the same, same material, by the way, too. I know I'm gonna get a bunch of questions like, how is the material though this time around? It's the same. What they changed was the actual aesthetic and functionality of the bra. Dope, I think it was a major improvement. 
And like I said, the Vital's one of those collections when, when they try to make improvements or touch it up a little bit, it's super hit or miss for a lot of people. So let me know what you guys think of the new bra. I've worked out in it a few times, I love it. So let's go ahead and actually try these babies on. Keep in mind, in this video, I am a size small in everything except for the tight fit shorts. Those I sized up to a medium. You'll see why. Starting with fawn brown, medium shorts, small bra. I love this fawn brown. I just have to say, I am so happy to see some neutrals. That's always typically what I gravitate towards are neutrals. It's beautiful and it makes me feel pretty. I know we already talked about the sports bra, but I do want to talk support level. Last sports bra was a moderate, low to moderate support I would give it. Same with this one. It didn't go up in support level, it's still the same. It looks different, but it's the same. Super true to size. If you're in between, I would probably say size down because you do have adjustments. I know for me, my 34 Bs, I wouldn't want to size up. Can't have too much room going on here. That's not good for anybody. As far as the shorts go, all right. Mediums, I wouldn't have it any other way, but that is because the vital seamless shorts from the beginning of time have no notoriously cinched into my legs. <laughs> there is this seam underneath. I can't even, mm, there's something about this damn seam, but it just, it cinches in and I don't like that. Since sizing up, it's been better and I'll always size up in vital shorts, but like anything else, now we have some cons to talk about. And that being, you know that whole wrinkling issue that the new Vital 2.0 had? You still have that since it's the same material. So if you size up, you might deal with some wrinkling right around the groin area. When I'm squatting in the shorts, it will start to gape. My thing is, okay, do I want gaping and a little wrinkle or do I want cinched in sausage thighs? I'm gonna go with the looser band and little baby wrinkling. Because the truth is, no matter what you do, no matter what size you get, the cinching around the thighs, it just doesn't go away in the Vital 2.0. But the plus side of the mediums, even though I'm dealing with the cinch still, I actually have more glute room. And I've been really trying to go ham on my glute drive hip thrusts. Trust the thrust, always trust it. But I have been really going ham and seeing a difference in my glute growth so if you have massive glutes, not that I do, I'm just saying if you do, God bless, then you may want to size up if this is where most of your mass is. Because I think it's safe to say that typically the vital leggings don't have a ton of glute space. This goes for leggings and shorts. This is why the medium, I feel like, oh, my glutes can breathe. I feel like I can play back here. I don't feel as compressed and it's a little more flattering in my opinion. And in terms of material, if you haven't tried this 2.0, it is thick. You do have a nice thick material. This is perfect for fall and winter leggings. So you can really feel the thickness when you wear the leggings. Especially with the colder months ahead, I'm really happy to see these darker, richer tones coming out. In all honesty, I have not been this excited for a Vital launch since the Obsidian Green. I'm wearing my true size small in these leggings. Now, while they do feel a little bit more compressive, that's for sure, I would say that Vital is true to size overall, so stick with your true size. If you shop the last Vital launch, the last launch, stick with that size that you were comfortable with. Not a whole lot has changed in terms of the actual fit. There's a little more sandwiching going on and I don't have as much glute space. And especially since these are small, I'm feeling like I kind of have a uni butt, but then I'll look and I'm like, no, I think it's, I think I see some cheek separation, but you know what it is? Guys, I think I'm spoiled with my scrunch bums. I think I'm a little bit spoiled. Now when I wear a non-scrunch, I'm like, where's my glutes? Whoa, wait a minute, what on earth is going on? Like, do I even work out? <laughs> like I said, that's why the mediums I'm able to play with these. There's no chance in hell I'm playing with these back here. <laughs> but don't get it twisted. These are still super flattering and there's a time and place for a scrunch bum. In these leggings, I could see myself running, which is actually really difficult for me to find leggings that I'm comfortable running and getting high intense workouts with because I don't feel like anything is that supportive nowadays. I feel like a lot of brands come out with not so supportive leggings <laughs> where I'm kind of jiggling around. These, I don't feel like I'm jiggling around. These are holding me in real tightly. Now, even though these are thicker, they're still breathable and they do have that wicking factor. You can feel it. I've always been a fan of the Vital. I think what deserves the most attention out of this outfit is this quarter zip pullover. Oh my God. You guys went ham when you saw me teasing it on Instagram stories. And I later found out that it's not available on the site. As far as the US goes, it still has yet to launch. Please keep tabs on my stories because when I see, I stalk that site every day. And when I see it launch, I will let you guys know. The vital tops that I'm used to are skin tight. 
Like they're the same exact material as your bottom, like your leggings. And sometimes too much tightness all over my body made me feel like I was a mummy. This is how I wanna feel when I got my gym set underneath and a nice loose top over top. <laughs> this is so light that if you were to tie a string to it, you can use it as a kite. Quarter zip gives you that versatility to style. It looks good as a high neck too. I actually really love the thumb holes too. It's tighter fit right around the hands and wrists and then gets looser as the sleeve goes up and then creates just more of a loose fit around the midsection. I love this damn pullover and I actually really love the fact that it's long enough where it's not that awkward length where it's like right there and you're just like, <laughs> it's right where it needs to be for me. I couldn't have asked for a better pullover and I know that you guys feel the same way because the amount of questions I got on this, it was more than any other piece that I showcased. <laughs> I think this goes without say, but check out that stretch. How about this? You want a more preppy style? <sighs> now let's check out some cherry brown. Call me crazy, but I feel a little bit less compression in this color. I think it's safe to say the darker colors, they're just more squat proof. So if that's a major concern, Grab those dark shades. I know the fallen brown, chili red, they're about 80, 85%, depending on lighting. But even the lighter colors, because the material's so thick, you're cool to do leg day in them. I did. So I wore the fallen brown shorts. I wore, what the did I wear? I didn't feel any type of way. This is 10 times more squat proof than their previous launch with the really light pastels. Remember that? That was, that, those were sheer. I'm not saying these are 100% squat proof, but they are definitely passable for leg day. It's also 10 times harder to actually see the contour on these leggings, but if you look up close, you do have a dark contour. You notice how vital they switch? Like this dark tone has darker contouring, and then the light fawn had lighter contouring. I like how they mix it up. So if you want more subtle contour that you don't even see, this is it right here. I mean, from far away, you can't even tell that this is dotted contour. The OG Vital, in case you don't know, it's always been known as being really good, but gaped a lot on the band. One thing I noticed that they did right with the new 2.0 is that the band does not gape. There's no gaping unless you size out too much and then there's gonna be a gape. But in my true small right here, I like that they added in the compression where it needs to be. It's constructed in such a way where it grabs better. I keep wanting to say Chili G. That's actually my nickname Bay gave me. And it's because I love to eat chili. Now I'm feeling the wrinkle. It's in this one. They saved all the wrinkling and all the gaping for this medium short. So keep in mind with the chili red, I do feel like this one has a little more give in general. So if you're in between, maybe size down because I don't want to see you with a wrinkly front. But this definitely has some pinkish tone to it. It's a pinkish red. Now it's that damn marl that's doing it. It's lightening up the whole color. Because when I think chili, well, first of all, I think of Chili's the restaurant. And you know how they have that chili pepper on their logo? And that's a real deep, rich fire engine red. This is not quite that. <laughs> This is more like a pink sorbet. This is for my gals who are not ready to let go of summer just yet. Summer slowly coming to an end. It's winding down. So you wanna squeeze in as many cute summer gym fits as humanly possible. This is your last hurrah. Drop a comment below. Are you a full fit kind of gal, a summer fit? Let me know. Fall fashion is my fashion. Give me all the flannels. I'm so sorry this took a while. It took me some time to actually get the pieces in. But once I did, you know I had to get this video up for you. I'm already seeing you guys rocking these sets on Instagram. And you look so good. I want to see one of you guys at my gym one day. So I can talk to you in person. I'm personally in love with the sports bras. There's no doubt about that. I think this is a major improvement. This is more of my speed. Because you guys know I love the training sports bras. I love the v-neck. I like having a little something going on here, but while still getting grabbed in the right places when I work out. This is it for me. I really like the colors that launch. I think they really nailed it this time around with the Vital. And I know a lot of you, like I said before, are very pleased with these new pieces. So let me know, like let's chat it up. I wanna know what your thoughts are. Have you tried it yet? Are you thinking about trying? And again, if you are not already subscribed, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos just like this. Cause we got a lot more coming your way. Thank you all for being here. I love you so much and I will catch you in my next video.